Well, welcome back to the stage, Laws. Now, you are silver fern number 132. I'm sure you know that. And I'm sure you also know that you have played 131 <laughs> consecutive tests in the black dress, which is a phenomenal achievement. Now, I know it's hard to reflect on an achievement like that while you're still playing, but do you think it'll be something that when you've re retired, you'll sit back and go, wow, that was pretty amazing? Yeah, well, every test kind of feels like your first one sometimes, but um, it's always a very special occasion when you pull on the black dress. So I think um, particularly when you see who lines up beside you, it's a real honour. Um, and, yeah, I, I guess um, I've been very, very lucky I, um, with the sports science staff, um, and I should probably pay a few coaches too along the way. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I think I've been very lucky. And when you say when you pull on the black dress, I mean, can you remember pulling on the black dress the very first time, your test cap number one? Where were you? What was your earliest your memory from that game? Yeah, I think um, you were in the team, Eddie. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can't I actually uh, thoroughly enjoyed warm up that match <laughs> um, because I was in a team that was stacked with middies um, and you guys were dominating England. <laughs> and I think Ruth was like, oh, go on, have a run. Get Stanley <laughs> off, get Stanley <laughs> no, off, land when you're up. I went on at Wingdy actually. Um, and I think what the beauty about Wingdy was back in. Um, that um, particular game was I just had to really worry about myself and the job that I was doing. Um, so I got 15 minutes and that's pretty much all it took for me to realise that I was in a very special position and it was one that um, I didn't want to give up and I certainly don't want to give up for a very long time. <laughs> I mean, you've played in several World Cups, Commonwealth Games. Is there one test or tour that, that stands out for you? Um, yeah, to, to be honest, I think it was the last Constellation Cup. Actually, I know it was the last Constellation Cup. Um, just the product that we put out there in those last two test matches was something we'd been working forward as a group for like a solid four years. Unfortunately, it was a month too late. <laughs> but um, it was a really proud moment to be in, in, on Australian soil um, and to pump them by 11. Sleep on that for Love Summer applause. Australia. <laughs> Not just beat them, pump them. I love that. OK, so summer is looming. What do you do to relax? Do you get out on the farm in Tapahu and milk a few cows with your dad? Yeah, unfortunately, that's a skill you never forget how to do. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting into some triathlons. Oh, um, God. But, um, is there anything you don't do? Shannon, particularly. There's some others out there who... Casey, Jodie, loved it this year. <laughs> Jodie particularly likes the mud runs. Um, so, yeah, I think it, it's great um, change. You know, look, Irene's going into boxing, so <laughs> we're an active bunch. <laughs> She's got some good guns on it's, her too. It's I've UFC guys. next, isn't it, Ice? I thought we were talking about UFC. Challenging Holly. Uh, on that note, Ronda Rousey, she's a bit of an idol of oh, yours. What happened on, in the weekend? That was an amazing <laughs> fight. Wasn't it? Not a good night at the office, but yeah, I really admired Holly's approach. <laughs> I was like, I need to do more of that. Yeah. Well, look, congratulations, Laws. An amazing achievement with the Silver Ferns. Enjoy your restful summer. Thank you.